How's it going there, YouTube? Coming at you with a very special video today. If you want to know how you can double the output of your current alternator setup without having to spend any extra money to keep your batteries charged up to demo for days, then you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. How's it going there, YouTube? Coming at you with a quick video today. Uh, this is something that is going to absolutely change the way that you demo. Um, at least for me, it did. Because as everybody knows, the output of your alternators is RPM dependent. At idle, I got the Mechman 370s and they put out decent amperage at idle. However, they don't put out maximum amperage until you get to about 1500, 1750 RPM. So, um, anybody out there that gives out demos, that hands out a lot of demos that, you know, maybe doesn't have 20 alternators, right? Uh, maybe just got one or two high outputs and you want to get the most out of it. Okay. Everybody knows the struggle of, you know, keeping your foot on the gas pedal as you're demoing. And, uh, you know, that way you can keep, uh, your RPMs where they need to be so that you can get maximum amperage to your amplifiers and to charge up your batteries. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different things out there. I know people have used, um, you know, installed throttle cables, um, have installed like, uh, you know, kind of like a choke system with uh, connected to their throttle body. Uh, you know, they sell electronic control devices. As a matter of fact, the one for this rig, uh, they're going to charge me over $500 for just for a uh, RPM activated switch. Uh, they have generic throttle depressors that, uh, you know, you can go ahead and manually adjust and set to your, um, you know, where you need it to be. But, uh, you know, that's all money spent that you don't need to spend. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your alternators to charge up your batteries uh, to be able to demo for days and not have to spend a penny. And if you do, it's only going to be a few bucks. So stay tuned. Position one, normal idle. -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Position two. Seat position two here, it's going to be 1500 RPM. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to be going over really quick how I made this send it stick and how this thing right here can pretty much double the amperage uh, that your alternators put out to give you more juice for your system to pound harder and pound longer. All right, so this is just one and a quarter inch wooden dowel. You can get any size thickness. You can get one inch, you can get inch and a half. I just got one and a quarter inch because it's what I had laying around. I didn't even have to buy this. And uh, you can get it at any craft store, anything like that. Pick it up for pretty cheap if you don't have it. And then uh, for the end part here, you can use, uh, gosh, you can use speaker rings, cut those in half. Or I actually had some of these laying around that I don't use. These are actually gymnastic rings like I'm a freaking gymnast or something. Um, so yeah, they're never gonna get used for the purpose they were intended for. So I just cut a section out and used it as that to go ahead and uh, screw onto my dowel to create the support that goes against the cushion so it doesn't slip up and down. And then on the end here, try and get a bigger picture there. There you go, see that? All that is are some of these uh, gripping pads. Uh, they work by adhesive, you just peel it off, stick it on the end, and then I trimmed with a razor blade to make it nice and flush and then sanded it with sandpaper. And then of course, threw some decals on there to add some extra DB. So that's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is that simple. All right, when we go to assemble this, all you do is you position your seat in your normal driving position where you normally sit as usual. And then you go ahead and measure how much you need to actually cut the dowel down and uh, obviously leave room for that as well. So you wanna be able to just kind of line everything up to determine how short you want to make the dowel and then once you do that you go ahead and cut it and then deter depending on which method you're going to use as far as either a speaker ring or one of these rings or anything for that matter you can even get a bracket at ace hardware um, they got all kinds of things you can figure out to attach on the end of here you're just going to pre-drill the hole there and what i did in this case for me is i just drilled a hole in the center i sanded that flat so it lies flush against the dowel counter sunk or counter drill sunk a hole there i think that's what it's called <laughs> but uh so that way i can drill it in just like that and it seemed to work out pretty good pretty solid and then i added some uh electrical tape here just to get some extra uh grip 
on the seat, which works pretty good because, again, this is pretty smooth. I didn't want it to, uh, to slip when I'm doing it. So that's the basic construction, how simple it is. Again, it probably ain't gonna cost you a penny to build it if you have stuff laying around, maybe a few bucks at the most. All right, so here is going to be the very first demo and application of the Send It Stick. Uh, basically what this is, is it keeps the accelerator uh, throttle depressed so that when you're demoing and you wanna get maximum amperage out of your alternators, you don't have to keep your foot balancing on the gas pedal staring at your rpm gauge making sure that you're at 1500 rpm or whatever rpm you like demoing at okay i know they have things that do this okay they have throttle depressors and things like that but this didn't cost me anything to make so um, i'm sure any enthusiast out there uh, would like a, a way to be able to make one of these and not spend any money and i actually found a way to actually electronically control that so you don't have to you know manually make the stick longer or shorter and adjusting okay and i'm going to show you how to do that here right now all right so there it is installed that end nicely cupping the seat cushion and that side resting nicely on the gas pedal keeping the rpms at factory now this is where it gets fun. All right, once you get it positioned on your seat and on the gas pedal and your RPMs remain where they're supposed to be at, okay, you hold this until you get a beep, there you go, and every car is gonna be different. Okay, sometimes your memory seats are over here, whatever the case may be, but position one, memory, is your RPM at normal idle, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the seat little bit at a time until your rpms are where you want it so i'm gonna do it here here the rpms going up let's see where we're at now a little bit more right there sweet spot so now what i'm gonna do hold memory two position until i get a beep there we go now watch this position one normal idle Look at that. Position two. Seat position two here. It's going to be 1500 RPM. Look at that. Well, a little over, about 17. Bad view here. 1750 to 2000. It's good enough, and I can always modify it. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A way to do a makeshift RPM switch where you can have seat one position your stock rpm and position two as your increased rpm set to whatever you want watch this let's go back to stock <laughs> i love it and then when you're all done obviously right just get it out of the way boom there you go